Hey guys, I'm Cody, at Rebind Past Life Pro, and for this tutorial, I thought I'd finally teach you how to, in a sense, fix Palm, or at the very least, modify it. And yes, in the latest public Cuda shader, this one being the Cuda V6.0.73 Beta Ultra. So, let's get started. Alright, have the Cuda shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore terrain.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 68 to 71. For modifying the outward characteristics of Palm, these values are what we'll use. For the sake of keeping this tutorial easy to follow in my head, we'll first be starting with the odd one out, line 70. In contrast to the rest, this code piece specifically adjusts Palm render distance whereas the rest support in adjusting the 3D effect itself. Alright, currently the value is set to 32.0, which is noticeably short in terms of render distance. For my taste, I changed the value to 120.0. Line 69. For most, if not all of you, this code piece should seriously pique some interest. Now, take this in. This value adjusts exactly how much 3D effect you'd want in the final product. But of course, there is a trade-off with this adjustment. Lower numbers will make the palm look more 3D, but in effect, the palm will appear to travel less distance. Although there is sort of a rough fix to this, but we'll get to that in a bit. After doing some tests, I found that changing the value to 5.5 is a good place to go. Line 68, and yes, I know we're jumping all over the place. I wouldn't worry about changing the value for this. I mean, adding more samples to the palm should make things look better in theory, but you know, I thought it was fine in its current state. Line 71, this value is pretty much what you'll use to compensate for the palm short distance effect. The higher the number, the longer the 3D effect will expand. On line 69, I went for more of a smaller improvement rather than a massive alteration, so I'd go with 800 as my chosen value. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my Cuta Shader tutorials, versions and time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this key to shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.